Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on the countdown timer for PowerPoint. Now this countdown timer does not have to be used with PowerPoint, but it makes it a lot easier to use it within PowerPoint. We have two methods of achieving a countdown here. We can either go based on the clock, so say for example it's uh, almost 2 p.m. here, uh, we can set it 4 p.m. and so it'll automatically uh, calculate the number of minutes seconds it'll take until we get to 4 p.m. or we can just put uh, 10 minutes we want to have a 10 minute countdown now when it's set to this minutes and seconds for the countdown you'll see down here my pause and restart key uh, are operable when I go to my clock time I am not able to pause it or restart it because we've told the countdown that we want it to stop at hard 4 o'clock in the afternoon or whatever time. Now this also has to be in the future. If it's already 5 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I want to set this to 4 o'clock, it won't allow me to start the uh, countdown. Okay, so you have some messages. Most of these uh, parameters and settings here are self-explanatory. We can display the countdown on multiple monitors, uh, at least uh, from this screen. It'll tell you monitor 1, 2, 3, etc. Now if we go to the settings screen, you see you can change the colors, the fonts at the top, you can optionally play a sound when the time uh, ticks down to zero, um, you have the ability to uh, display the hours or not in the lower left corner here, you can disable the screensaver, again most of this is all explanatory. One of the kind of cool things you can do here is if you click on options, you can create a desktop shortcut. So if I click that, what it'll do is it'll take all the settings here. Well, I'll do that. It'll take my settings and it'll enable me to uh, use either the clock time for a countdown, say I want it to be at, say, 5 o'clock. And I'll click OK. And what it does is it creates a shortcut. As you can see on the desktop, I'll move. And there you go, that countdown 7. 17H0M0S. That's my uh, 5 o'clock countdown. That's my shortcut that it just created. Okay, so all I've got to do is click Start Countdown, and there's my countdown according to the settings that I uh, set up. If I go to 10 minutes, we'll click the Start Countdown, and you see it starts at 10 minutes. And if I decide to, uh, say, display the hours, it'll also put the hours here. That's all there is to it. This is a very simple application. If you want to use the PowerPoint functions, we do have a video tutorial on that available also on the website. Thanks a lot for listening.